actually was improved by what the quitter, critters did to it, I think. Yeah, they did. When we come back, Lady in White, about a kid whose life depends on whether he saw one ghost or two. Her mother is the Lady in White. Our next movie is named Lady in White, and this is one of the best ghost stories to come along in a while. A movie that's not an exploitation film, not a horror film, but a civilized and scary drama about ghosts. I like movies like this that take the time to develop the characters and develop the story so that when the frightening stuff happens, it really means something. Lady in White is about a grade school kid who gets locked in the school cloakroom one night and sees the ghost of a little girl. What makes the story effective is that it takes place in a completely everyday, matter-of-fact small town where the hero, young Lucas Haas, plays him, lives with his father, his older brother, and his grandparents. His life in this movie could have been painted by Norman Rockwell. Bye, Dad. He's an average small-town boy until he gets locked in that cloakroom and sees the ghost. I know your favorite song, too. Have you ever seen a dream walking? Well, I did. Did you ever hear a dream talking? Well, I did. Because you're always singing it. That's how I know. You know, the ghost isn't really scary there. You feel more sorry for her than frightened. A little later in the movie, the kid's older brother sees her, too. Ow! Don't scare her. I'm trying my best. <laughs> What's she want? <laughs> she wants her mother. <laughs> You got her number? Let's call her. I already told you. Her mother is the Lady in White. The story in Lady in White isn't just about that one ghost, however. It's also about a mysterious Lady in White who also seems to be a ghost and about another lady in the town who is a recluse and has an old secret that involves maybe the other ghosts. And it's also about a series of murders that go back more than a decade. The movie ties all of these threads together yes it does it ties them all together in a big cliffhanging ending and the best thing about lady in white is that frank la Logia, who wrote and directed it really does have a story that he wants to tell here a lot of scary movies these days are simply disconnected episodes of people being chopped to pieces this one recreates some of the creepy feeling of the great old ghost stories well he does have a story and it is more complicated than the average one and that i certainly appreciate but you know what my basic review is like the boy didn't like all the layers of the women. I just thought it was just much too much. And as far as the ending is concerned, which I will not give away, and I won't, that one seemed cheap and very false to me and a major letdown. I, well, I actually thought this, you didn't like the ending. The very, very ending, no. I, you went through the very, very okay, ending Yeah, before. well, I, I did like the ending, but I, I think the one thing you have to say about Lelogia here yeah. is he has a real sense of style and he creates atmosphere here. He does just the, what Critters the, the, didn't do. Okay, I, Both I, movies are about small towns where weird things happen. Right, and in gonna, this movie, no. we feel that they're really happening there, to real people. There's no question that this is a better movie than Critters, but I would say that about uh, any, any film you made or any film that was lying on the floor here. I mean, I, so I, I like the boy. I like the boy. I liked what the boy was going through mentally. I didn't like all the layer upon layer. I, so I you're strip out one layer. actually recommending the blue iguana over Lady in White. You got it. Because in that case, we have a total and complete disagreement. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just not saying it's a bad no. film. I'm just saying the blue iguana is very funny. Okay. Go on. Coming up next, tragedy strikes one of the high school's brightest students, and the whole town is left to wonder why. The movie taken from today's headlines is called Permanent Record. I'm writing.